so we're going to show you today how to replace your wheel hub. Um, we've got it torn down this far. If you need some more help on the instructions on that, go to our other video. But just real briefly, we've taken off the tire. Um, the lug nuts are at uh, 21 millimeter. We've taken off the brake caliper, which as well is a 21 millimeter. Um, undone the tie rod, um, and then the four bolts in the back um, that hold the wheel hub on. They're back in here. Those are 21 millimeter as well. Um, undone, undone the vacuum line and then <clears throat> either up here in the wheel well you'll have a clip to undo the ABS on this truck it's over here um, there's just a little push tab you undo and disconnect that you don't need to worry about um, taking it off your actual wheel hub right here because the new wheel hub uh, will have a new line and sensor with it so when you've got it down that far we're going to now take out the locking hub Pretty easy you just have some pliers pinch that snap that lock ring together pull it out and pull your locking hub out now there's a snap ring that holds these thrust washers on the inside you have to take that out works really well to have some long reach snap ring pliers take your snap ring off get a pick and pull your thrust washer kit out now these should be in a certain order you should have first the round metal washer then the hexagon it's a nylon plastic washer and then another round one. If those are in a uh, different order, they've been put in wrong, that's the order they need to go in. So now you, you have those four bolts um, undone on the back side. You can just hit this off, especially if you're going to replace this wheel hub. You don't really, you're not going to worry about this flange. So we just take a hammer and go back and forth from each side. You're gonna to want to take this right here. See your AB, your this ABS line comes up and it hooks onto your knuckle here. You're gonna to want to take that off. You're gonna use an eight millimeter socket. Should come off pretty easy. Throw that back in there so you don't lose it. And that will allow you to get your old wheel hub off and out of the, out of the way. Do the clip here. Pull this out of the frame. The new locking hub comes with with a new plastic piece like that. And you have it off, and then you gotta. This one, obviously, we need to do some work on the shaft and the seals, um, and then we'll show you how to install a new a new wheel hub. Our new wheel hub here from Timpkin. Um, this is what would be OE in your truck. Um, we're, it'll come with an O-ring and then the four studs that hold it in. We're going to get it ready so we can install it. First thing is with your O-ring, um, you're going to want to put some grease on it just because you're going to slide it over you want to make sure it doesn't get stuck and get damaged so you put a little bit of grease on it and you can see here 
this little ridge that's where it that's where it needs to fit just slide it over once you get it installed it's probably not a bad idea put a little more grease on the outside because this is going to slide into your knuckle don't want to ruin that o-ring um, that helps hold the vacuum for your axle Okay, next thing is we're going to put the, our studs in here. We're going to use some Loctite on these. Just a little bit. So just do the same on all four. You're just going to thread them in as far as they can go hand tight. And then when, when you put it in and you tighten it with the nuts on the back side, it'll tighten them as well. Okay, so we've got these in. You can see they, they bottom out where the threads are. You know, make sure you get those tight. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to... This, this needle bearing comes pre-greased, but we're going to pack it with a little bit more just to make sure. Use a good, good high-quality grease. We use this Spicer grease and just make sure that all of those needles in there have a bunch of grease. This is this is a very common failure on these trucks for this bearing to go bad. So we want to do all that we can to keep it good. We're going to first grab our thrust washer here. This is the big one um, with the four grooves in it, as you can see here. And those grooves need to go towards the inside of the axle. There's a flat spot. I mean, there's a flat side and a groove side. Make sure the groove side goes towards the inside of the axle. Like that. Then we're going to grab our dust shield. I'm going to thread this ABS line through it. And slide that onto your wheel hub assembly. Now, when you put this wheel hub assembly in, you need to make sure that, that the ABS port right here is facing up. Carefully slide that on. Make sure your ABS line is out of the way so it doesn't get sandwiched in between the two. You press that on. Now we're going to take our three-piece thrust washer kit. It's got two metal metal rings and then a hexagon. It's a nylon washer. You're going to go metal first. Then the nylon one, and then the metal one. Then you take your snap ring, put that on over the shaft. Make sure that that snap ring locks in to the groove that's on the inner shaft like that. Now we install the nuts back onto the back of the hub. There should be four of them. Uh, we, you need to make sure they're all torqued down to 135 foot-pounds. Once you have those torqued down, uh, the last step is to put your locking hub in and your hub is installed and you're ready to put your tire and your brakes back on.